I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you one of the toughest questions on rearranging variables. The question here is rearrange and solve for t in the equation s equals to ut plus half at square. And thanks to my subscribers to remind me to upload this video. Actually, I forgot to upload it earlier. Now, here is a new one. Now, when you have t in two different terms as given here, it is kind of uh, very difficult to isolate t. Some of the students who have learned the completing the squares method can do it very easily. We'll actually follow that method and solve for t, right? So that's how we begin. And this method is also used as completing the squares method to write a quadratic equation vertex form. So we'll first rearrange this equation, write it as half of a t square plus u t. And now we'll isolate, or rather, we'll take half common, right? We are not taking t common at all. So, so it's a very half of a we will take common, right? So, whatever, whatever is the coefficient of t square is being taken common here at this stage. So, when I take half of a common, I get t square as the first term, and the next term will be u times t multiplied by. 2 and divided by a, right? So I could write this as 2a over, I mean, 2u over a times t. You get this point, right? So, so that is how this second term will be, right? Because we do not have half a term here. To create half a here, we have to, you know, multiply and divide by this term. So one term we have taken outside, which is half a. So when you factor this out, you get 2 times and then divide by a. You can check this out by expanding. If you expand, half a t square is your first term, right? And the second term will be half a times 2u divided by a. 2 and half will cancel. a and a will cancel. You will be left with u t. You get the point, right? So you get that term. Okay. Now the next step here is half of a, then we have t square plus 2u over a times t. We add and subtract half of this number. Half of this number will be u over a, right? So we'll add and subtract u over a whole square. Add and subtract half of the coefficient of t, which is u over a. So when you add and subtract this term, you are kind of adding 0. Now once you do that, in that case, First three terms will form a perfect square. These three terms will form a perfect square. So we could now write this as half of a t plus u over a whole square. And this term here will be minus u square over a square. So that is S is equals to all this. By doing so, what we have done is we have kind of isolated T. Do you see that? Now we can rearrange our formula and, and write down uh, the equation. So let me just complete this by writing S equals to half A. So I'll open the bracket at this stage. Or let me keep it like this. Half A times T plus U over A whole square minus u square over a square. Now to isolate t, we'll first multiply by 2, divide by a. So we'll get this term equals to that. Let me show you all that on the right side of this page. So let us cross multiply. So we get 2s divided by a equals to t plus u over a whole square minus u square over a square. Now we'll add this term on both the sides. So we get 2s over a plus u square over a square equals to t plus u over a whole square. So at this stage we'll square root, right? So, so we'll square root all this. We'll square root. Whenever you square root, you have to write plus and minus. 2s you can take 
a square common also at present I'll write as such then we'll take a square common okay equals to t plus u over a and then you can isolate t right so t will be bringing u over a to the left side we get minus u over a plus or minus square root of okay so we'll take a square common okay so a square so we get 2as minus u square square root do you see that so this is the kind of term we get for t which could be further simplified and you could write this as t equals 2 so if I bring out a square from the square root I get 1 over a and I have 1 over a here also so I could write a in the denominator and this would be minus u plus minus square root of 2 a s minus u square right so that is the formula which we get for t by rearranging the given equation do you see that so so that is how it should be done right now for some of you you may have to check few things for example how did I factor this you need to go through factoring techniques at present you can expand and and check whether it was right or wrong then you should know what is a plus b whole square so this particular step which we did here is called completing squares so I'll also provide you a link for completing squares so that you understand this particular step and then it was rearranging which is also not an easy rearrangement for grade 9 students so I hope that helps some of you at least and uh, uh, for some I'll say review some techniques on factoring and completing the squares and then practice a similar question let me write down a question for you so let the question be y equals to ax square plus bx plus c in this equation isolate x which is very similar you need to follow a general method right which will help you and the solution for this will be your quadratic formula right so your quadratic formula when you whenever you isolate this you could get this as so I'll not give you I'll say 0 equals to okay let me write 0 equals to this and then it will be easier for you so let me write 0 equals to all this and then find what x is that may be even better right so it will be easier and then try to solve this the answer for this will be x will be equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a right so that will be the solution for this particular question try it out as and for grade 10 students this is a general formula for solving quadratic equation they must be very familiar with it i hope that helps thank you and all the best